everyone welcome back to my channel so i thought i would film another little vlog today because we're off to london again me leon and all of my family are off to the harry potter studios which i'm so excited about i went when i was about 15 but i think they've added some new bits since then so yeah we're off there today my parents got it for all of us for christmas and yeah it's half past nine now our slot is between 12 and half past but it takes about two hours to get there so we're gonna leave now and yeah i thought i would just film a few bits to pop in a vlog don't know how much i'm gonna film don't know how busy it's gonna be probably very busy um but yeah i hope you enjoy anyway and let's go we've arrived at harry potter world studios we're just walking in Harry Potter's covered under the stairs where he sleeps. Okay, everyone, for the third film, The Prisoner of Escobar, you may remember it swinging uh, behind Harry, so it's got a singular version attached to a rotary. So we're in the uh, Great Hall outside. now. So do have your cameras at the bed. In the 360 degree special day, I'll give you a clue. You the costumes and props. that will burn the ball. This is from the Goblet of Fire. It's got like an ice statue, all the drinks, and that purple dress says Hermione's dress. Their dorm rooms, where they have the sweets. So much to look at, all the different ones. Slithering common room. It's Malfoy over there in Crab and Boyle. The Gryffindor common room. Now in Dumbledore's office. See the phoenix and then Dumbledore as well. It's the potions classroom with Professor Snape. You see the potions mixing themselves down there. It's walking over to Hagrid's hut now. Pumpkins outside. Ready? See his costume inside. Fang. We've got all the different vehicles. Hagrid's motorbike. The broom. This is the Weasley's house now. You can see. Chopping cats on their own, cleaning the pan on their own, all the different outfits. Hiding as well at the back there, and knitting as well. 
is the Lorem Umbridge's office. And her outfits and shoes. And the Ministry of Magic statue with all the muggles inside. We're now in the Forbidden Forest. We've just seen Hagrid. You can see Buckbeak in Harry Potter's costumes. And one of the, I can't remember what they're called, the half man, half horse. It's very spooky. So we're now in the spiders above us and spider webs. Start making a howler. We're just getting on the Hogwarts Express now. Have a look in the carriages. Seen in the philosopher's stone where they get everything off the trolley, and you can see scabbers in there as well, having the jelly beans. So, we're now just queuing at the back lot cafe to get some food. I'm also getting some butterbeer to try as well. I haven't tried it since I last came about 10 years ago, so yeah. So, we've now got our food. I've gone for a veggie burger which comes with chips, I've got a diet coke and then a butter beer as well. That's nicer than last time. Mm -hmm. it tastes like cream soda with cream on. We've now finished with lunch. We've just come outside. We're about to go into Harry Potter's house now. This is now where all the makeup is done and all the sort of costumes. This is the creature shop. So you've got all the mandrakes, all the creatures they've sort of built and made, all the masks. They've got the books as well, which is so cool, like the diaries. One of the water, like mermaid creatures. And they've got Hagrid over there as well. There's Hagrid's head. Is the werewolf and how that was made. Yeah. Some more bits and bobs. 
Yeah, the slugs that Ron was sick. Got Hagrid's brother up there. We've got Aragog, the spider up there, and also the big skeleton out of the philosophy. No, it wasn't, it was Chamber of Secrets. And they had to go down in the Chamber of Secrets. And that's Tom Riddle's uniform. Buck Beak and his pumpkin patch. Nothing else to see, actually. All the different goblins from Gringotts Bank. All the goblin costumes and the models. All played by Warwick Davies. Gringotts Bank and all like, the little models of it as well. So we're now just going into Gringotts Bank. This is the cart in Gringotts Bank, the vault cart which takes them down to all the different vaults. Another area in Gringotts Bank. So this is Gringotts Bank after it's been destroyed. Something's coming, I think. Walking in Stargon Alley now, my favourite part. If you look in this window here, there's also an Easter egg for the American fans of Harry Potter. It's the Weasley Sweet and Toy Shop. Puking pastels. And that is the view back down where Gringotts Bank is. Hogwarts Castle. Here. We've just stopped for some cake on our way out. I got a lemon meringue pie and Leon's got some cheesecake. Looks very nice. So we've just got home from the Harry Potter Studios. It's now 20 past nine. So it's been a long, long day, like four hours traveling to there to back. And yeah, very tired now. I thought I would just end the video by showing you what we bought in the shop so I got a couple of things my dad got one thing as well so I'll show you that first of all while we were there there was quite a few like interactive things you could do so the first thing is that we made well a few of us made a howler which mine seems to bend not sure why but it's the letter that Ron gets sent from his mum um, and it basically says what she said to him in the letter um, and it's like a pair of lips that talk so we made one of those and also you could get a little passport 
as you went around and there was different stations where you could stamp them um they're not like colored stamps it's just an imprint so you might be able to see there this one is from hogwarts express and there's like an imprint there for the platform nine and three quarters so yeah we went around and filled that booklet up there's probably about eight stations and then as you would have seen as well we got a butter beer so you were able to keep the cups which is nice um me and my dad both had one so we've got two cups in the house now um and yeah i think they'd be really good for like a harry potter movie night now on to what we got in the shop so i got a chocolate frog i got one of these when i went in 2015 and i never ate it because i'm a bit of a hoarder um especially back then i wanted to keep it still got it now it's nearly 10 years old so yeah still got that but i've got the collectible card from it because you get the solid chocolate frog leon got a dark chocolate one because he prefers dark chocolate but i got milk chocolate and then you get the collectible card this time i got bridget wenlock and it's like a 3d card and she's the first to establish the magical properties of the number seven so yeah that's who i got in the one i got last time i went i got rowena ravenclaw so i've got two now and leon got a different one he got a man who i hadn't heard of before so yeah got some chocolate frogs and then my dad picked up some of the every flavor beans which i think would be really fun to try and it's in a really nice pot like a tin as well um in here the flavors you get are bogey banana earthworm earwax green apple marshmallow black pepper vomit rotten egg soap blueberry sausage sherbet lemon cinnamon candy floss grass watermelon dirt tutti frutti and cherry and as far as i'm aware these are vegetarian so i will be able to try these as well not that i'm going to rush to obviously i will until i get a disgusting one and that'll probably put me off but yeah thought they were super cute and then something else i picked up for myself i got a little hair bow which i thought was super cute it's the gryffindor hair bow and hair bows have come into fashion recently and i thought like a not like that but you know like when you have like half up half down with a bow i think it'll be cute um it was five pounds so a cheaper item i've messed my hair up now a cheaper item for the harry potter studios because everything is quite pricey um i did see a really really nice pair of hogwarts express pajamas they were like a light blue button-up pair of pajamas with really nice like harry potter illustrations on but they only had an extra large and i did get them to check but unfortunately they didn't have them in my size so i didn't get them got myself the hair bow and lastly something else i really wanted was a gryffindor scarf as well so i got that it's got like tassels on the end one thing i wish i did though was pick it up as soon as we got there because everyone not everyone but there was a lot of people wearing hogwarts scarves around and yeah i got it on the way out because we didn't go into the shop until after but nonetheless i'm sure i will still make use of this i'll still obviously wear it and yeah super cute um but yeah that's everything i picked up today i'm super tired and i'm gonna get ready for bed now but i hope you enjoyed this video i'm not sure what footage i got or anything like that i just filmed clips of bits and bobs and yeah really good day really long day so yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video Bye.